Hey guys, it's your pal Tim here at Nerd Out Comics. Uh, this is going to be a new series of videos. We're going to be focusing on comic book info, first appearances, artists, and things of that nature. Today I'm joined by Jeff Wong. Jeff, say hi. How you doing? Uh, today we're going to focus on the UPC symbol of comics and knowing whether or not you're getting an official first print. Uh, if you uh, if you didn't already know this, and a lot of you educated comic book collectors probably already know that you can actually just look at the UPC symbol and it'll tell you whether or not it's a, a second print or a third print and also whether it's a variant cover. Uh, all you have to do is locate your UPC symbol right here and you're going to notice that there's a five-digit number right above this code. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see. And notice it says 001. Those three numbers actually indicate the actual issue number. This is a being a issue number one of Avengers uh, Shards of Infinity. And this is the actual first print, first cover of this particular issue being 001. That's the first issue. The second one that is the cover variant. So this is the first cover for this particular issue. And the second one, or the third one, is the printing issue. This is the first print of this issue. So it's 00111. Jeff, what does yours say? Mine's 00121. So we can indicate that it's still the first issue, but it's the second cover variant for that particular issue. Why don't you go ahead and give them, give them a look at that one and show them how the number is different. Bring it up nice and close so they can yeah. see it right, right there. there. There you go. See how it says 00121. Uh, that's the issue number uh, and the variant cover code number. Um, here's uh, the third issue. This is still the same issue, even though it's a different cover. And if you notice here on this particular one, it says 00131. Three, one. And you can see that right there, 00131 right here. This indicates that this is the third variant cover for this particular first print book of this issue number one. Now, Marvel's been making it a little bit easier by actually putting in variant cover. That's something that's really cool. So Marvel's been start. They've been doing that for maybe the past year now. But before they did that, they didn't have that up there. They just relied on the UPC symbol to figure out whether or not you knew it was a variant cover. And don't forget that those variant covers can be from different series, whether or not it's a one in ten or a one in twenty or a one in fifty or those really rare, hard to find one in one hundreds or one in one hundred and fifties. Those are some tough issues to find, isn't that correct? Yes. Yeah, Jeff's a, a collector of certain uh, of certain books. He likes a lot of the independents, and he loves collecting some of those variant oh, covers, yeah. especially on like the Lady Deaths or Vampirellas. Uh, Vampirellas yeah. yeah, with all the different uh, artists that do those particular covers. Uh, well, there you go. That's a short little tutorial about how to read your UPC symbol to make sure that you're getting the issue that you want when it comes to being whether a first print or a variant cover. Jeff, thanks for coming and uh, showing up and sure. joining us on this particular show. This here's Comic Info. Go ahead and check us out uh, on Facebook. Like that button, press the subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks again for stopping here at Nerd Out. Take care and have a great day. Going for the button. Hi.